Hello everyone, this is Rahul Pawar and welcome to my YouTube channel, Express Your Data. So today is our day three of coding sessions and today we are going to learn about five new functions in string again, that is lower, upper, starts with, ends with and contains. So very five important functions which are required to make your code comparison standard. So let us get started without wasting much time. So I'm going to create a new calculated field and I'm going to write as string functions day three. So first is lower. Suppose you want to convert your given string into lower case, then lower is the function that we can use. Okay. So likewise, opposite of that is upper case or upper which will convert your given string into upper. So this is again part of your code standardization. So sometimes when we are trying to compare some strings, we want to make it a standard. So to do that, we use this lower or upper case. So lower function to convert given, given string in lower case opposite of this is upper to convert given string in upper case two important and frequently used functions let us see the example lower as you type it will ask you to write or pass the string so i'm passing a string here in small case so as tab loop. Okay, so because it is a string function, I am passing that in code like we have learned on day one. Click on apply, and you see if I just drop it here, it will convert into lower because it is already in lower, it is converting into lower. But if I write in capital letters, It is converting into lowercase. Okay. So no matter what the string is, it will convert that into lower. Likewise, if at all I want to convert that into uppercase, simply I can use upper as the function and pass your string. So no matter whether your string is in lowercase or uppercase, it will convert that string into upper. So we got that in uppercase. So likewise, we can pass a static value or we can also pass a dynamic value. Like say, I want to turn all the elements of category into capital letters. So simply, I can pass upper of my category item. So let us remove the code to test this. Okay, so upper of category I'm doing. Okay, so let us give it as code and see what will happen. Now, what is happening? Tableau is treating this as a complete text. Okay, and not the field that is coming from the database. So that is why what it will do, it will convert this category into uppercase. See here. But our intention is not that we want to convert this furniture into uppercase, this office supplies into uppercase and technology into uppercase. So I'm just removing the code so that Tableau can identify that this field is coming from the database. Now it is converting your string dynamically. All the values of category are getting converted into uppercase. Okay, so this is about uppercase. Very easy function and very important as well. Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm trying to play with two pair functions again. That is starts with and ends with. So again, this is a comparison operator or it will search for the given string at the starting position. It is starts with. If you at all you want to find out how a string is ending, 
and then ends with is the operator that we can use or the function that we can use. So at any point of time, you are confused what to use or what this function is, how to pass syntax. Uh, on the right side, if you open your calculated field, you will see the definition of that function along with one example. Returns true if the string ending with the substring. Okay, like this. So it is telling that it will ignore the spaces here. So you don't have to worry about the spaces, but it will just try for this. So again, let us see one example. We'll start with a very basic example and then we'll pass a dynamic value and then we'll compare. So I'm trying to find out if my tableau is starting with, okay, so your string and you are searching. So in this, I'm, I want to try if it is starting with a TA and close. So now what will happen? This tableau will be passed and the starting position of this string is compared and it will check if it is starting with the TA. So the resultant set is either true or false this thing okay not beyond that so let us see the output if what is the output of this so it is telling true because our tableau is starting with the ta let us also see if this matches with capital ta okay and apply now it is not matching so this kind of issues can happen now you want to compare with only uppercase no matter whatever it is either whether it is lower uh, whatever the input string is you don't have uh, you don't want to worry about that but you your intention is you will always compare with the capital T that is how the requirement is now what I'm doing to this I'm converting into uppercase okay now no matter how the string is passed in real time whether it is coming in lowercase or uppercase, you will always match with the TA. Now the result will see, it is becoming true. So likewise, I can pass a dynamic value and this time again, I'm just simply replacing this or I will write it again. Starts with and I'm doing category here and a category comma. So in category, we have furniture, office supplies and technology. So I want to find out if my category items or let us say, let us take subcategory because it has many elements. I want to see, I want to find out how many elements are starting with A. So I'm passing a capital A here. Okay, and because I don't want to worry about how I'm getting string, I'm converting this given string into upper of this category. So what will happen first, your innermost query will execute. So this will get executed. Now what will happen, your category will get converted into uppercase. Okay, so like how we got here. Then in that, it will try to check how is it starting. It will try to match with this string. If it is matching, then it will print it true. Otherwise, it will print false. So everything is, okay, we are getting false here. So I think here, we should actually get true here. One, two, three, we should get. Okay. So here I am passing category, but I'm trying to match it with subcategory. That is why it is not matching. We need to pass subcategory actually. And click on apply. Now you see in the first three cases, it is matching. So it is returning true. And well, all other cases are false. So that is how you are starting and ending with works. Very important. So if you see, 
till now we were trying to write only single function and trying to convert but now we are trying multiple functions together so this is the power of coding okay so we might have multiple requirements where we need to you no know, club together functions so that we can get the derived output so this is how we improve our coding so here like it is not that we will use all of these functions in a single day so we might have specific requirements in that kind of cases we need to remember that okay there is this function which can which we can use to get what we need like that so that is why the more you know the better it is for you in real time okay so that is about your starting and ending with next i am trying to use one new function that was recently introduced in tableau that is contains so it will try to find out if your given string contains the search string so contains means first in i'm passing like say uh so i'm passing here uh tableau and uh, developer so this is my given string so in this given string i want to search if developer is there or not uh, let us see what will be the result of this click on apply so it is returning true why because so this is my given string in this given string it is searching this thing this is your search string string and and here it is returning as sub string but you can also remember it as search string so in your and let us see if it accepts one more thing i want to pass comma and tableau so it is giving us error so at a time it will only accept only one input you are getting this now i'm just trying to pass again sub category item and i want to search for specific thing so again i'm doing contains operator here and uh, this time i'm using sub category and in my sub category i want to find out if art is present or not okay so i'm just going to comment it again contains operator your string and then your search string or your sub string that is how you need to remember so if i scroll it to right if i put my cursor here returns it true if the string contains the sub string simple okay so because we already have art in this sub category item only in that case it is returning true so this is very helpful like if at all you want to find out sales for only art or sales for only labels or sales for only papers then we can write this kind of contains operator to get that result okay so all these functions will try to write logical statements when we discuss that but first we are learning functions one by one so first we'll cover string functions then we'll cover uh you know number functions and then date functions and then logical functions where we will use all of this together okay so to go there we need to start from here so i think that's it from my side in this video i hope you find this video useful if you like it don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you have a good day and bye bye